Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about what are the steps to ensure to have a good money karma. So a lot many people have this kind of confusion in terms of understanding about the money karma. So what is money karma and what are the significant what is the significance of money karma and why we should check money karma and also there are certain planets which signifies money karma has been taught in my previous videos. So please check to all those videos to have a basic understanding about money karma. So in this video, I would like to talk about what are the steps to ensure to have a good money karma. So everyone aspires to have a good money karma, right? So everybody wants to, everybody chooses abundance over poverty. Everybody, everybody chooses prosperity than, you know, having a problems in the life, right? So definitely there are certain planets which influences money karma. They are Jupiter, Venus, Saturn and Rahu. If at all these four planets are positive in your birth chart, then obviously there will not be any kind of issues with regards to finances in your life. And also all the all the obstacles concerning to finances will be taken care. And also most importantly, Saturn brings abundance and prosperity and also it brings financial stability in your life. And Rahu brings sudden change in terms of your financial wealth. Okay. So if at all out of these four planets, at least two planets are positive in your birth chart, then obviously you can you can able to experience a very good money karma in your birth chart. Ideally, money karma happens for the reason that uh, in, in your past life, you wouldn't had donated any of your money to any uh, to any needy people and you are being very selfish in your previous life. And also you wouldn't have taken care of your uh, your loved ones during your past life. So that is the main reason why you have that financial crisis in your life. And that happens in your birth chart uh, on the name Money Karma. So the reason why, why astrologers talk about Money Karma because uh, the second house, 11th house, 5th house, 9th house signifies Money Karma. If at all you have positive planets in these four houses, then obviously there will be a very good money flow in your life. And also if at all any Dhana Yogas are forming, which is nothing but the Wealth Yogas, even on this wealth yogas also we have discussed a lot in this YouTube channel. Please do check those videos also. If at all you have second lot placed in the ninth house, if, the, if at all you have second lot placed in the eleventh house and the vice versa. And also if at all you have fifth house lot placed in the second house, fifth house lot placed in the eleventh or the ninth house and a vice versa. Then obviously we can say that there is some kind of dhana yoga forming in your birth chart. Irrespective of your second house and eleventh house are not in the good state, but still you'll be able to make very good money because of this dhana yoga forming in your birth chart. And if at all you have any raja yoga, some, something like pancha mahapurusha yoga, chandra mangala yoga, gajakeshari yoga, emperor yoga, kirti yoga, upper kubera yoga, which forms generally with Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn and Rahu. So because of these positive uh, dhana yogas will be making very good money in your life. So that can be easily checked by analyzing your birth chart. And not only the D1 chart, your D9 chart, which is Navamsha chart also should be analyzed to understand about money karma. And also, if at all your D10 chart having a dhana yoga, then obviously you'll be going to a foreign uh, lands to work uh, because of your, uh, you know, um, you will be generally traveling on site that is away from your homeland to make money. So that generally happens if at all Dhan Yoga is forming in your D10 chart. The D10 chart is nothing but your career chart. And also in the Hora chart which is nothing but D2 chart, your 11th house should be having a very good number of planets. If at all you have 3 or more planets in the 11th house then that is also considered as very auspicious and positive in terms of gaining the abundance and prosperity in your life. So there are certain combinations which generally helps you to understand about money karma. I think I would have discussed a lot on this topic. So there are four things which you need to take care of in order to grow your money karma. First and foremost thing is you need to donate to the needy people. So the reason why you have you know poverty line in your birth chart, the reason why you are not able to make money in your birth chart because you are not able to give money to others. You haven't given the money to others to the people who are in need in your past life. And that is the reason in this life you have a problems with regards to money as per astrology. So you should start donating even you, if you get one rupee then 25 paisa of the money should be donated to the charity. Okay, depends upon your capacity. I'm not giving any kind of minute figure here actually. How much of ever is your capacity you should be able to donate to other people. Second thing is you need to reframe your money goals. So you will make money unless until you give money. So that's the law of karma. That's the law of wealth. That's the law of money. So if you give to others, that same thing will come back to us in many folds. So that's what you need to have a belief. And also you need to keep reframing your money goal. So always your uh, 
energy should be flowing in the direction in terms of serving others when you serve others you'll make money so when when your mindset is filled with buying gad gets buying this thing uh, buying that thing and uh, what are the paycheck that you are getting if you are simply spending off without having any kind of uh, you know proper flow of investment savings or any kind of uh, you know sharing it to others any kind of uh, not giving to any kind of charity or anything then obviously uh, you know you are not actually following the law of money karma so the law of money karma says always donate uh, something to the needy and also save for your future and the third thing is you should be having a positive attitude towards money so a lot of people have a negative attitude towards money a lot of people have negative attitude towards the rich people okay so rich people are always egoistic rich people have a lot of attitude they will be having this kind of uh, notion in their mindset and that is the main reason why they are not able to make good money have always positive attitude towards money respect money okay so because of all this stuff you'll be able to make, able to enhance your good money karma okay so thank you so much for watching this video if at all you need my astrological consultations the link is mentioned in the description section do book for an astrological consultation once i get a consultation order i'll be able to help you with the complete analysis pertaining to individual birth chart please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and also once you book a consultation um, you know once i get a consultation order from you guys then i'll be able to check your birth chart which will enable me to check your birth chart for hours together and i can able to uh, draft a swot analysis pertaining to your birth chart i can able to tell your your strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats and also i can able to rule out any kind of problems that are uh, in terms of affliction in your birth chart and i can able to provide you the complete analysis along with the remedies so that you can able to ease out the problems okay so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video bye for now